Hello, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is something new I want to try out on my channel. It's uh, where I talk about an anime that I'm watching right now and just kind of like go over how I'm feeling and like my thoughts on it so far. I feel like that'd be a interesting to do because uh, do, it keeps up with like everyone what I'm watching and it keeps like a category of what I've watched and all that. But also just gets my thoughts out there on the show. And what I want to try to do with the series is like start it like before I even watched it and then about halfway and then when I finished. So right now it's, it's going to be a little bit off because I already watched, I'm already halfway through. But I still got like everything I've, I want to talk about written down on my notes. So, but to get into it, uh, uh, right now this episode, or this video, will be about Soul Eater. One thing I really want to get off my chest is Black Star, the, Me the Meister, oh my, I hate him so fucking much. I hate him with a burning passion. Like, I don't get it. I hate that he's just like full of himself and shit like that. It really pisses me off that he's like that. I really wish he'd like chill for five seconds. But no, he's all balls to the wall. And I hate that. And I hate that his weapon, Tsubaki, has to put up with his shit. I feel bad for her. Alright, so since I got that off my chest, uh, so far I really like Soul Eater. Like the main characters, uh, Maka and Soul. I really like how they're like different in a way. Like Maka has like f like family troubles that are like relatable. Like her parents are going through a divorce, and well, they are divorced where I'm at, but it's. It's weird seeing that in an anime. Usually the parents are dead or soon to be. But I like I like that. I like the I like the main character. I like Maka and Soul. They're really cool. Uh I like the premise of the show about like with Meisters and weapons. Uh I actually first like heard about Soul Eater through a poll on TikTok or something like Would you rather be a weapon or a Meister? And I don't know, when I first watched the video, I was like, Meister, because one, that sounds cool, and I don't want to be used as, like, a weapon, but watching the show, I, I think I'd, being a weapon would be pretty badass. I think the first episode, and, like, I really thought, like, in the first episode, like, fucking Maka and Soul were gonna really like, get that witch's soul. And, like, just become overpowered from the beginning. It's like, oh, well, the premise of the show is over. No. It turned out Blair was just a sexy cat lady. <laughs> that was just, that was funny. I was like, oh, shit. And I like how she's kind of like the, the fan service gag. Yeah, I find that funny. I, was, I like the antagonist, uh, Medusa. She's actually cool. Like, pretty badass. Like, I just watched... I just finished episode 12, and, like, the way that she fucked over the mouse and the frog witch, the, that was fucking amazing. I also find that her experiment on Krona be kind of, like, sad, honestly. Like, I feel bad for Krona. He doesn't want that. But he has to deal with Ragnarok just fucking his shit up. I, I feel bad. And honestly, for the longest time, I thought Krona was a chick. Uh, I find Death, the kid, to be fucking annoying, too. About him and symmetry and shit. I, get, I know that these people have, they're like, to be different from each other, but holy fuck does it piss me off. About Death, the kid. But I like his uh, weapons, Patty and Elizabeth. The, that's actually like pretty... Uh, unique about the show that like he has two weapons and the fact that they're twin sisters too 
I also like the like background how they were raised off the street. He took them in. I found the episode with uh, Soul and Black Star going to find no no. Fuck Black Star and Death the Kid going to find Excalibur and then Excalibur turns out to be this fucking dumbass <laughs> who speaks in like half riddles, half compliments or in insults and shit. And they just put him back in when they find out that like he was some bullshit. But he keeps like coming after him later on that episode. That was funny. Let's see another thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Stein. Dr. Frankenstein. I really thought he was going to be like the main antagonist for a little bit during that one episode. That were uh, Black Star and Maka and their weapons were fighting him. Because he just decimated them. He's a fucking badass. But he's actually turning out to be a really cool like mentor character, which I find that's really cool. And he was like really knowledgeable and stuff. Fucked up what he did to Maka's dad. But I'll look past it. Uh speaking of Maka's dad, he's a douche, but I I find it charming that he's trying to make up for what he did like I, I get that he feels bad and he doesn't know how to like express how he feels so this is like wrapping up the little update video so far I like Soul Eater I, I really like the animation and the art style it reminds me of uh, back when I was a child watching like Beyblade and Bakugan like that it, that, it reminds me of that it's nothing like that but yeah, that's what it reminds me of, and I like it. All right, before I wrap up this video, I just want to say, like, if you have, if I missed anything in the video, let me know. Uh, if there's anything you want me to talk about in the next video, please comment down below. Also, when I post the final video for Soul Eater, if you have any anime recommendations for me, please let me know. I'd like to check them out. I have one planned already for Soul after Soul Eater, but I'd like still to hear what you would recommend me. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it. If you're new, please subscribe. If you like the video, leave a like. It would help me out a lot. But yeah, see you later, Space Cowboy.